welcome to this eighth video of mathematics part 1 lesson number 3 polynomials of standard 9 in previous video we have seen how to divide a given polynomial by a binomial which is in the form of either x plus a or x minus a by synthetic division method now we are going to learn one more new method uh, called as linear division method of division where the here of course the uh, divisors are going to be in the same form but especially this method is applicable for the divisor if it is not in the x plus a or x minus b form but here i have taken same practice set 3.3 which you are supposed to solve uh, by synthetic division method as well as linear division method so while learning we are going to use the same questions which we have done for the synthetic division from the same exercise. Here I have selected first three and the fifth sum uh, for this method. Once you understand this method, you can use this method for any divisor. Okay. So let's start with the first question where the dividend is where the dividend is uh, 2m square. Uh, minus 3m plus 10 okay now while start when we have to divide this by m minus 5 how we are going to start what is that method let me explain you so here we try to write the given polynomial in the form of dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder in this form we are going to write so how we are going to get this form that we will see step by step okay so once we write this uh, in this form then automatically we, we know this dividend is given and this divisor so whatever these two things we get that is going to be our quotient and remainder now it's much explanation is not given in the textbook also so many students find this method little bit difficult but i would like to give you some smart tips with the help of which you can do this method also easy of course you have to practice for that okay so let's start with this so we are going we have written this dividend which is equal to now what we will do in the rough work column i'll write the rough work column over here okay okay so this first term 2m square so we, we are going to divide this 2m square first term of the divisor in the first step. We are going to divide by the first term of the uh, dividend. First term of divisor we are dividing by first term of the divisor. 2m square divided by m we will get it 2m. Okay. So if you multiply this 2m with the divisor. What is the divisor? m minus 5. What will be the product? Your product is going to be 2m into m is going to be 2m square and 2m into minus 5 this product is going to be 2 5s are 10m okay so here the product of these two terms is going to be 2m square minus 10m I'm going to put a line over here now I'm going to write this part here I'm going to write it here 2m in bracket m minus 5 why I am writing so, we will we come to know gradually when we move on and we will come to the uh, second last step, okay, to get this form, okay. So, we are going to try get this m minus 5, which is a divisor common to all terms. So, we want this term. But what is the product of this monomial and binomial? The product of this is 2m square and minus 10m, okay. Now here we want 2m square perfectly. We actually we are representing this 2m square. But when we write this monomial into binomial, we are not getting only 2m square. We are getting minus 10m also. Which is not here. Okay. So to cancel this minus 10m, we have to, we have to take the opposite term of this minus 10m. Which is plus 10m. Okay, means actually I can explain you here that 2m square is equal to this 2m in bracket m minus 5 
plus 10. So solving this bracket, multiplication of this and plus 10 m will give us 2 m square. Okay. So what we are doing, we are dividing the first term 2 m square by m. We have got the quotient is 2 m. We are multiplying by this 2 m to the divisor. What is the product? It is 2 m square minus 10 m. Okay, as we have got minus 10m, while writing here is 2m and this uh, divisor n minus 5, we are going to add the opposite of this minus 10m which is called 10m. So all these calculations will give us only this 2m square. Okay? Then we have to copy the rest two terms as it is. Minus 3m plus 10. Okay? So, all this is equal to 2m square minus 3m plus 10. Okay, if you observe this, that uh, 2m, m minus 5, now you have got this 10m, 3m, these two are like terms, which you can simplify and make it 10 minus this one be plus 7m and copy this plus 10. So, here we have completed one step over here. Now, we have to see what is the next term that is 7m. Okay, so let me write it even here. Second it is 7m. Now 7m when it is divided by this m, what we will get? We will get it plus 7. Okay, so this multiply the 7 with the divisor m minus 5. So 7 into m minus 5, we will get it 7m minus 7 5 is a 35. Okay, so to get 7m, we are not only getting 7m, when we are, so we first we will copy this thing as it is 2m, m minus 5 and then plus 7 in bracket m minus 5. But here product of this is not only 7m but it is as minus 35 also. We have to write its opposite plus 35. Okay, so just to cancel this minus 35, we want only 7m. For cancellation of minus 35, we are adding plus 35 opposite of minus 35. And then the rest term is what? Plus 10. Okay. So here 2m in bracket m minus 5 plus 7 in bracket m minus 5 and 35 plus 10 we got it as 45. So if you will see this uh, 1, 2, 3 terms. Here the last term we don't have any m term. So in this both the terms we have m minus 5. So I continue here. Okay. So therefore it is 2m square. I'm just copying here again. Minus 3m plus 10. This is dividend is equal to 2m m bracket m minus 5 plus 7 m minus 5 and plus 45. Okay. You can see that for two terms you have m minus 5 which is a common bracket. So if you write this is equal to m minus 5. And the uncommon is what here? This remaining is 2m plus 7. And the last term for plus 45 as it is. So from these two terms we have taken this bracket common and this is uncommon. So... Here you can see this is the dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus this number is remainder. So from this you will come to know that your quotient is 2m plus 7. This is your dividend. Okay. Divisor into quotient and plus remainder. And remainder is 45. Okay. You can check this answer. Uh, with the previous video where we have solved with the help of synthetic division method. Uh, I know this is little bit uh, uh, difficult or little bit you can say confusing. I'm sure you are not, uh, you will require some more practice of such kind of sum. So we will solve the second sum also. Okay. So after this let's go to the second question. Okay, so let's start with the second sum where we have to write the dividend part. It is x raised to 4 plus 2x cube 
plus 3x square plus 4x plus 5. Okay. Now this dividend is equal to what we are going to write. First, what we are going to do in top of column that we are going to divide this first term x is to 4 by the first term. So x is to 4 divided by x is what x cubed. So by which term should we multiply uh, this x plus 2 to get x is to 4 that is x cubed. So if you multiply x cubed with the divisor x plus 2, your product is x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed. Actually, you want to write only this x raised to 4. But when you are going to get this monomial into this divisor, okay, so we will write here x cube in bracket it is x, raise, x plus 2, okay. The product of these two terms, monomial and binomial is x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed. Where we want this x raised to 4 and what we got plus x 2x cube just observe oh, oh very nice we have got only 2x cube here if the number is different then we will cancel and then we can uh, write this one but coincidentally we have got this term also here so x is to 4 and 2x cube both the terms we have got with this product so we can uh, we have done with it and we can start with writing over here plus 3x square plus 4x plus 5. If in case if this product is which is 2x cube and here if we do not have 2x cube if we have something else suppose we have 4x cube or any other term then what we what would we do we would subtract that uh, opposite of this plus 2x cube that is minus 2x cube we will write and then we will copy whatever this term okay but here coincidentally we have got the same product so we have got these two terms. Okay. So now let's go for the next step. So we are going to copy this x cube in bracket x plus 2. Now we we want uh, now we want 3x square to be written. Okay. So to this one 3x square dividing by x we get it 3x. Okay. So 3x square dividing by this x we get 3x. And what is the product of 3x and the divisor x plus 2? The product of this is 3x square plus 3 2 is a 6x. Okay, so this is the product. So we want this 3x square term here. Okay, so here we are going to write plus 3x in bracket x plus 2. So product of these two is 3x square. And product of these two is 6x which is not equal to 4x. So what we can do? To remove this, to cancel this plus 6x, we will subtract 6x. We will take the opposite of plus 6x, that is minus 6x. And whatever this term we will copy from here, plus 4x plus 5. Means all this thing will give us only 3x square. Okay, because this 3x square plus 6x minus 6x cancel, that is only 3x square. And we have copied these two terms as it is. Okay. Now, as we have got these two like terms, let's combine it. So, x cube, copying the same over here. x plus 2 plus 3x, in bracket x plus 2. Clubbing this together, two like terms, we'll get it minus 2x. Different signs, we have to subtract. 6 minus 4, 2, greater number 6. With negative sign, we have got minus 2x plus 5. Okay, go for the next third the next is 2x. Of course, that is minus 2x. Let's put minus 2x divided by x. x gets cancelled minus 2. So, taking this minus 2 and multiply with x plus 2. What is the product? Minus 2 into x is minus 2x. Minus plus minus 2 is a 4. Okay. So, let me continue over here. Which is equal to now x cube in bracket x plus 2. It's plus 3x in bracket x plus 2 minus, okay, now we, now we are now going to write minus 2x as it is, we will write minus 2x like this. So, minus 2 in bracket x plus 2, but the product of this is what? Minus 2x, this we want, yes we want, and here it is minus 4, but we don't want minus 4, we want plus 5. So, to cancel this minus 4, as we don't want minus 4, 
we have to make the opposite of minus 4 that is plus 4. So, product of this minus 2x minus 4 plus 4 will cancel. This is going to be only minus 2x. And we have to copy the last part remaining plus 5 which we want. Okay. Now, these two are the like terms. We, we have to add these two things. Therefore, I copy this as it is x cube in bracket x plus 2, 3x, x plus 2, minus 2 in bracket x plus 2 and the last term is 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, if you see here we have got 4 terms, first, second, third and fourth. Out of 4 terms, first 3 terms has this divisor common. Therefore, we will write this common bracket x plus 2 which is actually our divisor. And what is the uncommon thing here? It is x cube plus 3x minus 2. So, these three things we have written in this bracket. So, product of this binomial and uh, trinomial is these three terms. And the last term is plus 9. So, when you compare this dividend is equal to as divisor into this quotient plus remainder. So, you can get your answer that your quotient is x square plus 3x minus 2 and remainder is none. Okay. So, this is the method in which we can solve using the linear method of division. Okay. This rougher column will be helpful to you. Okay. So, I, I would like to have two more sums also that will give you better understanding. Okay, now this third sum is y cube minus 216. Okay, now this is the dividend. We have to divide it by y minus 6. Okay, so if y cube is divided by y, what you will get? Do not forget to do a four column. y cube divided by y, you will get it y square. Okay. Now you multiply this y square with the divisor y minus 6. What is the product? y cube into y will get it to y cube. Sorry, y square into y will get it to y cube and minus 6 y square. Okay. So fine. So this y cube we have to write but we are going to write it as y square in bracket y minus 6. So product of this is y cube which we want. But what is the product of this? It is 6 y square. Do we have minus 6 y square? We don't have anything. As we don't want this minus 6y square, we do not have this term over here. We have to add the opposite of minus 6y square. That is plus 6y square. Okay. Now here there is no y square. So we have to, we will write this much only. So all this, it's, uh, this simplification will give us just y cube. Okay. Now the next part is minus 216 that we have to copy. Okay, now let's copy this y square in bracket y minus 6. Now here we have y square, 6y square. So to second thing now 6y square will divide by y, we'll get it plus 6y. Okay, and then 6y when you multiply by y minus 6, what is your product? 6y into y, 6y square and minus 6, 6 is 36y. Okay, so... You, when you will write this 6y plus 6y in bracket y minus 6, monomial and binomial. The binomial must be divisor. Okay. Everywhere this binomial is your divisor, which we are taking common from all. That's why we bought in this term. Now, product of this is 6y into y is 6y squared. And product of this is minus 36y. Do we have this minus 36y term over here? No. So, we don't want that term. So, to cancel that term, we have to add its opposite. It's minus 36y, we will add plus 36y. So, this product of minus 36y plus 36y will get cancelled. Now, what is remaining here? Minus 260. Okay. Now, copy these two terms first. Term two terms as it is y square. y minus 6 plus 6y. y minus into 6 minus 6. Now, this is the 36y. So, if you divide this 36y by y, you will get it 36. Of course, this sign is plus, so this is also plus. 
So 36 multiplied by y minus 6, you will get the product is 36 into y, 36y and minus 36 into 6. 36 is 6 square into 6, you will get 6 cube, 216. Okay. So when you write this plus 36 in bracket y minus 6, the product of these two is plus 36y and the product of these two is minus 216. That also we require. So we need not to write any opposite of minus 216. This is the only term we want, constant term. So here we can stop. Okay. Now we have got these three terms where we found that this bracket, that is our device is common. Let's write this common bracket once and uncommon it is y square plus 6y plus 36. Okay. That's it. Now here what remains? Nothing remains. So there is nothing. So plus what? Nothing is there. So it means you are, if this is your dividend, this is the divisor, this is quotient and this is the remainder. So your answer is your quotient is y square plus 6y plus 36 and remainder actually nothing is there. That means the remainder is 0. So this is your quotient and remainder with the say, uh, different method, linear division method. Of course, your answers are going to be same. Now, let's solve the last sum. Okay. The last sum is the fifth sum. I am not going to take it. Now, once you understand this four sums, how to do by division method, you can certainly follow uh, the same method to do this any kind of sum, whether the, your divisor is in the x plus a form or x minus a or any other also, okay. So here this fifth sum I am going to take now which is x plus to 4 minus 3x square minus a. We have written the dividend and the divisor is x. So if we, x square is divided by x, little bit oral work also I can tell you. If x plus to 4 is divided by x, what you will get? You can get it x cube, correct? Or still, if you want rough work, I can show you. First thing, x raised to 4 divided by x, we get it x cube. Okay. Now, x cube we are going to multiply with the divisor. x plus 4. What is the product of this? So, x cube x into x plus 4. That is product of these two terms, x raised to 4. And then this is plus 4 x cube. Okay. So, x raised to 4 we want. But do we want this plus 4x cube? Do we have here 4x cube? No. So to remove this plus 4x cube by getting product of this, we have to take its opposite minus 4x cube. Okay. So we have cancelled this plus 4x cube. So when we subtract here 4x cube, this will get cancelled. Only this term is going to remain. Okay. Which we want. So we have got this term. Now, we do not have any x cube term. So, we need to copy these two terms as it is. That is minus 3x square minus 8. Okay. Now, let's come to, let's copy these two things. This one term, product of x cube and x plus 4, which is a divisor over here. What is x minus 4? x cube divided by x. Okay. x is at the first term of the divisor. So this division we will get it minus 4x square. Now this minus 4x square we write. We are going to multiply with the divisor x plus 4. So minus 4x square in bracket x plus 4. What is the product of this? So this is minus 4x square into x is going to be x cube. Minus into plus minus 4 fours are 16x square. Okay. So this is the product of this product, sorry, this is the simplification product of these two terms. Now minus 4x cube we want of it. But what about minus 16x square? Do we want this minus 16x square? Do we have? No. We do not have minus 16x square. So just to remove, add it plus 16x So when you will add this plus 16x square, this will give us only this term. Okay. And now these two things are remaining, which we want pop it down. So it is minus 3x square minus 8. Okay, so we have copied this. So again, we can copy x cube in bracket x plus 4 minus 4 x square x plus 4. Now, here we have to think about this term now 16 x square. Okay, now 16 x square divided by x, we get it plus 16 x. 
So here, plus 16x multiplied by x plus 4. So this product, 16x into x is going to be 16x squared. Now what is this 16 4 is a 64x squared. Correct? So here it is. 16x multiplied by x plus 4 will give us 16x squared plus 16 4 is a 64x. Do we want this term? We don't want this term 64x squared. Here we want just... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Here we need to we need to combine the like terms x 16x squared plus 3x squared. So this is going to be plus actually 13x squared minus 8. So this also we have to drop this part over here. So now it should be 13x squared divided by x is going to negative plus 13x. So this next step we have to do it. X cube in bracket x plus 4 minus 4 x squared x plus 4 and here it is now plus 13 x multiplied by x plus 4. So what is this product? Plus 13 x multiplied by x plus 4 will give us 13 x squared plus 13 4 is a 52 x. Yes. Do we want plus 52x? No, we do not have anything like this. So we have to get the opposite of this. That is minus 52x and minus 8. Okay. So to cancel this plus 52x, we have added minus 52x and minus 8 as it is. Okay. Now come to the next step. Please uh, adjust this. I am trying to get the space as much as I can. Okay. So now here I am copying here this x cube in bracket x plus 4 then it is minus 4x squared minus 4x uh, squared in bracket x plus 4 then it is plus 13x in bracket it is x plus 4. After this, we have this minus 52x minus it. Now, this minus 52x, if you divide by x, you will get it minus 52. So, minus 52 in bracket x plus 4. So, here you have to write, it is minus 52 in bracket, it is x plus 4. Okay. So, Yeah, so this product is minus 52x minus 52 into 4. 4 2 is a 8. 4 2 is a 8 and 4 5 is a 20. Okay. So this minus 52x we want it here, but we don't want minus 208. So we have to cancel this minus 208 by adding 208 here. And then the last term is minus 8. Minus 8. Now, if when you simplify these two uh, like terms, the number is constant, okay, what you will get? So, copy this previous terms as it is, x plus 4 minus 4x, 4x squared in bracket x plus 4 plus 13x, x plus 4 minus 52, x plus 4 and plus 200, okay. So, this is the step we have got. Except the last term, the 200, all these 1, 2, 3 and 4 terms, we have common in this x plus 4, which is our divisor. Let's write the remaining terms, which are uncommon in the bracket. x cube minus 4x square plus 13x minus 52. And the last term is 200. So, this divider is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Therefore, your answer is quotient is x cube minus 4x square plus 13x minus 52 and the remainder is 200. Okay. So, these four sums we have done by this method. I hope you have understood this method. If you have any doubt, or if you want any particular sum to be solved by this method, 
uh, you can give me in the comment box I'll surely try to make video on it and I'll show how to solve that sums uh, I hope you have understood this like this so please give me likes share to your friends and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe and please uh, press the bell icon so you will get the notifications of the videos which I will make in future too. Thank you.